This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We're coming at you from the windy city of Chicago, Illinois, at ITW 2016. And I am here with my new friend, Natasha Tamaskar from GenBand. Natasha is the vice president and head of cloud strategy for GenBand. Natasha, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Dean. Very happy to be here and talk to you guys about the solutions that GenBrand brings to Telecom. Outstanding. Well, let's just start right there. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about GenBand? Okay, so GenBand is a leading provider of real-time communication solutions. Mm -hmm. We are based out of Plano, Texas, but we are a global company with about 700 uh, carrier customers, enterprise customers, and independent software vendors as a customer. Um, as a company, you know, we, uh, as I said, it's a global company, um, and we have grown both organically as well as inorganically. Um, if you may know, one of our big acquisitions over the years was that of Nortel Switching Division. Yes. And we acquired Nortel Switching Division, and that has really been the foundation of our communication solutions uh, out there in the industry. Uh, over the years, we have taken our communication solutions of, and moved them from what we call box solutions, you know, hardware-based solutions to software and very recently launched our communications platform as a service, so our move into cloud. Um, as a company, we have two key focuses. One is we work with our customers really around protecting the investments that they have already made in mm -hmm. their networks. Mm -hmm. And this is really about helping them to transform their networks from TDM to IP. And the second large focus is, okay, now that you transform their networks from TDM to IP, how do we help them create new investments in newer technologies so they can actually leverage what they have and provide new innovative solutions into the marketplace? Best description ever. Thank you very much. Now, I understand that your session border controls have taken a trip um, across the pond um, through a partnership with Gamma. Is that correct? That is correct. Actually, um, all our solutions are global solutions. Mm -hmm. But in terms of Gamma, we have recently been selected by Gamma for their SIP trunking solution, which happens to be a very large SIP trunking solutions within the UK market. Uh, as session border controllers, we offer solutions that are both distributed and integrated solutions. Um, the solutions have very strong session management, mm -hmm. security, and interworking. So we're very pleased that Gamma has selected us for, for these solutions. Fantastic. Now, I have some friends who attended the GenBand Perspectives Conference just, what, last week, was it? Absolutely. Now, they told me that it was fabulous. Um, um, how was the show for you, and uh, what's the big news coming out of the, the show? So, very exciting for us. We have been doing the show for uh, several years, or I should say a few years. And every year that we have seen, uh, you know, our customers and partners getting very excited about our advancements in technology and solutions that we can bring to them. Uh, some of the interesting um, press releases that we had around the show were really around, one was around our partnership with the Polycom B Digitic Certification, mm -hmm. which is around really for defense interoperability. So we had a JITIC certification um, uh, uh, press release. We also announced partnership with SAP around our cloud solutions where they have really integrated our communications platform as a service as a part of their, um, really as a part of enabling their workforce to improve productivity. And so this is very, very interesting for us. So it's part of their SAP Hybris offering. Um, we see a lot of interest in these solutions. We have seen a lot of our customers very interested in taking our cloud platform and really integrating it into their, their solutions solutions and really bringing the next level of unified communications to the marketplace. Outstanding. So we've been talking about the uh, the past a little bit and the present a little bit. Let's talk about the future now. Okay. Um, what do things look like for, uh, for you? What can our viewers expect to see from GenBand, say, in the next 6 to 12 months? So from a GenBand perspective, we are extremely, extremely focused in moving in the direction of cloud and NFB. Those are our two sure. major focus areas. From a cloud 
cloud perspective, uh, we have made investments in our platform Candy, mm -hmm. which is our communications platform as a service. Uh, you will see a lot about our customers and partners talking about the concept of rapid service creation with the platform. Uh, we have enabled um, um, certain interesting uh, technologies on the platform as well as certain ways of delivering solutions from a communications platform which make it very easy for our customers to build newer innovative applications that are very simple to integrate and uh, very easy to integrate into their uh, particular applications. So you'll see a lot of that. You'll also see a lot of focus around NFP and SDNs as we are helping our customers really take their operations uh, streamline the operations, make it more cost effective, uh, make it more um, easy to deploy and, mm -hmm. and rapid. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to go off script just to, uh, just really quickly here. You you mentioned SDN. Um, SDN was in its infancy seemingly two weeks ago, and now today I'm talking to folks who are um, they're going live in the wild. It's like a real thing. Can yeah. you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we showed um, at Perspectives, which was just last week, mm -hmm. is we were able to bring up an entire network of SBC on stage. That's so amazing. So it is amazing, you know, yeah. where we've come from a theoretical concept that was there a few years ago yeah. to a point where we had uh, our uh, leaders in this technology from GenBand come on the stage and do it right in front of our customers. So it's amazing what uh, progress has been made in this particular space, certainly from a GenBand perspective. Yeah, no, congratulations, <laughs> you're doing you. it. Well done. No, it, it just, it did seem, you know, there was even, could it be done? Will exactly. it be done? Are there practical purposes? And it seems like and, you have uh, made that work. Yeah, and, and absolutely, we come at it from two different directions, right? Not only are we solving a problem, but having launched cloud-based services, to us, it is very clear that cloud is, it's it's not it becomes very effective only if it can be delivered in a cost effective yes. manner and can be done rapidly so unless you can hit those points um, cloud on its own does not it's it's not that interesting when you start investing in NFP and SDNs you know that you can do these rapid service creations uh, in the best possible manner outstanding this has been a fun conversation Natasha thank you very much for being here today Thank you very much for your time and giving us the opportunity to speak here. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.